Welcome to Sports Circle 345. This is a place where we discuss track and field in its entirety. It's been a long time since I've done a video and upload on the channel. I was so busy doing several different things, taking care of personal issues and also family issues. But I'm here again and I want to kickstart the channel. I say thank you to all the subscribers who continue to support this channel. Thank you very much. In retrospect, the 2023 season was a very competitive and interesting one. We see the rise of uh, Elaine Thompson era back to the top. Earlier in the season, she was running 11 20s and 11 30s, but came back to the latter part of the season and running high 10 70s, and that was good on her part. I just want to say I did several videos where she was concerned um, about we forgiving her and praying for her, and I'm glad that she made it back, you know, to the top and now is a contender for 2024's 100 meter fastest woman of the year. I must say, Sharika Jackson did exceptionally well in the 100 and in the 200 meters. At one point in time, we were even thinking that she's going to break the 200 meters, but nevertheless, next year, I think she'll have a good shot at it. Also, I want to say Shelly and Fraser Price continue to dominate and continue to show us that she's one of the best ever. Also, you know, her 2023 season wasn't that illustrious, but let's give and take. She had an injury earlier and therefore I think that had affected her in a lot of ways. But I want to say that I know she's not done and she'll be back in 2024 to do wonders on the track again. I must say to all the Jamaican team, uh, you know, they did well. Also, um, the, the men, they show that they are back in contention. You know, also, I must say the American did well in Shakari Richardson. Honestly, Shakari, somebody would want to say she would, she's the best for 2023. You know, let us give and take. She did extremely well and I'm proud of the young lady how far she has come and the performance that she laid down. I'm telling you the sky is the limit. 2024 will be electrifying with all of these performances in 2023 leading up to the Olympics. Noel Ives also did well in the 200 meters, both the 100 and the 200 meters. He's the world champion now in the 100 and in the 200 meters. And I'm telling you, the young man did extremely well. And uh, to be honest, he is the man to beat. 2024, I know he'll be there to defend his title of world's fastest man in the 200 meters and 100 meters. It will be great. So there it is. We'll be looking for great exploits on the track in 2024. And I just want to say again, thank you for supporting this channel. Thank you for sticking to this channel. Continue to watch my channel. Continue to support. God bless you. Wow, good.